Conflict of Interest Commission has unanimously decided to investigate whether First Deputy Prime Minister and HGZ leader Tomislav Karamarko is in conflict of interest, arising from his wife Anna Karamarko's business dealings with his friend, mole lobbyist Josip Petrovic. Mol and Croatia are currently in an arbitration process over Mol's disputed management rights over the Croatian oil and gas company Ina. The main opposition party, the SDP, has submitted its request to Parliament that it address the issue of confidence in First Deputy Prime Minister Tomislav Karamarko, which marks the beginning of a process that could end up with his dismissal. This morning, SDP leader Zoran Milanovic explained that the work of the Conflict of Interest Commission was irrelevant in this respect. Responding to Milanovic's announcement, First Deputy Prime Minister Tomislav Karamarko said this morning that he was not in conflict of interest and that the greatest damage Croatia had suffered was during Milanovic's mandate as Prime Minister. Karamarko also said that the HDZ's General Secretary Milian Berkic would be returning to Parliament as an MP to improve the organisation and operational functioning of the Patriotic Coalition's bench there. After failing to reach a quorum for the last three weeks, today's parliamentary session is being well attended. This comes after HDZ leader Tomislav Karamarko warned MPs from the HDZ club to attend or else. A number of issues are currently being voted on that have been on hold for weeks. At the beginning of today's cabinet session, Prime Minister Tehumir Oreshkovic said he was expecting Brussels to positively assess the government's national reform programme, thanking all his ministers for their efforts in drawing it up. According to the Vecerni List newspaper, the European Commission will support the government's programme, although it will put forward five new economic recommendations for Croatia. However, it won't introduce any additional measures to correct the country's macroeconomic imbalances. National Bank Governor Boris Vucic has said he expects the government to completely focus its attention on implementing structural reforms and improving the business climate in Croatia. He said that a part of those reforms were envisaged within the government's reform program and now everything depended on how they were executed. Today is the last day of interviews for those hoping to become Constitutional Court judges. Parliament's Committee on the Constitution have to present to Parliament a short list of 10 candidates from the 46 applications submitted, who will then need to receive the backing of two-thirds of MPs to take up the post. The process of appointing the new judges must be completed by the 7th of June to avoid a constitutional crisis. Sport and Croatia last night won its first medal at the European Swimming Championships. Mateja Samarjic took the bronze in the 200 metres backstroke with a time of 2 minutes 9 seconds and 24 hundredths of a second. In doing so, she beat her own Croatian record by 49 hundredths of a second. In basketball, the semi finals of the Croatian Championships are being held this evening. Cibona play Zadar while Cedevita play Kvarna. The first teams to win two games will progress to the final. Cedevita and Tsubona and Zadar have already qualified for next season's regional ABA league. This afternoon's forecast calls for sunny weather with occasional light to moderate cloud cover inland. The clearest skies are expected in the south of the country. Along most of the coast there'll be a light to moderate southwesterly and westerly wind, while along the southern coast there'll be a northwesterly. Highest day temperatures will be between 18 and 23 degrees Celsius, a little lower in mountainous areas. Over the next two days, it'll be partly sunny with variable cloud cover and rain showers and thunderstorms in places, especially in western regions. There could be heavier downpours. On Saturday, it'll be sunnier and warm and temperatures will rise. A weak to moderate southwesterly wind will turn to a northeasterly. On the coast, for the next two days, there'll be variable cloud cover and unstable weather. There'll be occasional rain and rain showers with thunderstorms, especially on Thursday night and Friday morning, when heavier downpours are expected in places, especially in Dalmatia. On Saturday, it'll be mostly sunny and warmer. A moderate to strong southeasterly Yugo will turn to a northeasterly Bura wind.